from somewhere in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Mikey Show. <laughs> and now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TALK. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. And we are together again on the radio and after a long, long road trip. (laughs) Here I am back in the studio. Yesterday was a rerun, in case you didn't know. But now I am back. London, New York, Claremont, Kentucky, and then uh, I had been here a couple of weeks, and that followed uh, time in Dallas, Paris, Biarritz, and then uh, I had been here a few days before that, and before that I was in uh, Tuscany and Rome. So uh, I have been on the road a lot. And now we are staying here in town. For God's sake, we're staying. We are here in SoCal. We're staying in the cockpit now, at least until the holidays. God only knows what I'll be doing then. But in the meantime, I'm here at home in Southern California. And it feels good to be back in my own studio, for God's sake. Last week, I was broadcasting from a hotel room. And, uh, I mean, we we had good shows last week. We had a lot of fun. But uh, it was a different situation because the show was on until 3 a.m. in order to do the live portion of our show that ends at 7 p.m. Pacific time. So, uh, (laughs) what a relief now to be back. Beautiful, sunny Southern California day. Cruised over here in 15 minutes flat. Wandered into the building the unnamed movie studio where we work, did a little business on the telephone, and uh, feels good to be back wearing flip-flops and shorts, and I'm, I'm back in L.A., baby. God, I love it. Now, as you know, if you were listening to the show last week, uh, the uh, Internet and technology, they are wonderful things. I, I didn't miss a beat. I've been watching TV here at home. I've been uh, reading the local papers. Been reading the, uh, you know, Wall Street Journal, USA Today. Been keeping up with what's been going on. So much happening. I mean, uh, some days this feels like a show that uh, that writes itself. But, of course, we can't let you believe that because that would mean that uh, Gary and, secondarily, I are essentially doing nothing. <laughs> so understand we've been working very hard to put this show together scratching our heads, trying to figure out what to put on the air because it's brutal. Trying to figure out what to do on this show is brutal. My God. Up at the crack of noon every day. (laughs) Every day Britney Spears or somebody does something stupid. And then you walk into the microphone and uh, and you bump right into it. And then uh, (laughs) you start talking and the phones light up and then we drink some wine and go home. It's pretty much the deal. That is the deal. So uh, let's talk about the latest on Britney, shall we? I mean, come on. This train wreck is uh, is heading for the wall. You know, if uh, if we allowed revisions to the Deadpool, which we don't, we'd all have her on the list because she's going. She is going down, going down. She is. Here's the latest, the very latest. This just came out. Britney Spears lost custody of her children, according to the AP, because she failed to produce a California driver's license 
and allegedly missed a drug and alcohol test, her lawyer said in a published report. Attorney Sorel Trope told People Magazine, we weren't able to prove compliance with what the judge ordered. Specifically, the judge ordered that by 10 a.m. yesterday morning, both parties show valid California driving licenses. I've been unable to produce evidence of that. Trope said another factor was a claim by ex-husband Kevin Federline's attorney that Spears had skipped a drug and alcohol test. The lawyer said there's no evidence that she actually failed. Also, that doesn't mean she she took the test, does it? <laughs> um, Kevin Federline's attorney, according to the story, never said that Britney Spears failed the test. Said that she skipped a test. That doesn't sound like a response to what uh, was said. Says here, Trope did not immediately return a call from the Associated Press seeking further comment. As you know, yesterday, Superior Court Commissioner Scott M. Gordon ordered Spears to relinquish custody of her sons, Sean Preston, two, and Jaden James, one, to Federline. Quote, until further order of the court. The judge had previously ordered Spears to undergo random drug and alcohol testing twice a week and meet weekly with a parenting coach who was to observe and report back to the court. Both Spears and Federline must complete the court's parenting without conflict class. I'll bet that's just a peach. You go in there with a bunch of cholos and trailer trash and people with hardcore heroin addictions, and you sit there and you talk about parenting. It's all very warm and fuzzy. <laughs> we have to learn to get along. We have to learn to compromise. Oh, Jesus. Yes. They have to uh, complete the court's parenting without conflict class or receive private counseling, the court indicated. Then they go back and recount Britney's very checkered past. Just amazing. Talks about Spears having been charged with misdemeanor counts of hit and run driving and driving without a valid license for allegedly crashing into a parked car in August. The driving offenses likely compelled the judge to issue the orders yesterday, said New York divorce lawyer Raul Felder. Officials of the DMV said Spears applied for a California driver's license but did not complete the process. Jesus. Felder said she was driving without a license with a child in the car. You can put aside the in and out of rehab, the shaving her head, but this, when a judge went out on a limb for her, there's no going back. Says here, though, Spears must relinquish physical custody of the children until further ruling from the court. She and Federline still share legal custody. Los Angeles divorce lawyer Connolly Euler said he surprised the children weren't taken from Spears sooner. Jo well, yeah, can you imagine, uh, uh, the Joe listener, can you imagine if uh, you failed a drug test and your ex found out about it and went to the court? <laughs> You'd not be dancing on MTV, uh, apparently drunk or anything like that. <laughs> Those kids would be gone. Says here, judges typically typically remove youngsters from households where parents are ordered to undergo drug testing, he said. But he added, all is not lost for Spears. He said, if she picks a good counselor and gets a different set of friends, fat chance of that, there's a good chance she can turn things around. He noted that she's only 25. The couple is due back in court on the 3rd of October. Now... You know, it's not like Kevin Federline, from, from all accounts, and we can only go by the accounts, it's not like he's a model citizen himself. I mean, this kid is bouncing, these kids are bouncing like ping pong balls back and forth between these two parents. But here's an example. Here's an example. Britney Spears still has the capability of producing more future victims. Britney Spears is not prohibited of all the things she's prohibited to do, she's not prohibited to have another baby. And I think that's pretty outrageous. 
In fact, I think it's pretty outrageous in any of these cases where uh, people are drug addicts or alcoholics or abusive or whatever they are. I, I, I would de derelict parents. I think it's pretty outrageous that people are allowed to continue breeding like this. I mean, Britney Spears should be forbidden to have children. She should not be allowed to have children, at least until she's proven for several years that she has kicked these habits and has become a model citizen. I mean, I do not understand why we as a society don't step in in cases like this and say, you know what? We're turning off the spigot. You are done having babies. You're done. You're done. You're an alcoholic. You're a drug addict. You're a bad parent. You are done having kids. Do you think Britney Spears should be allowed to have more children? You tell me, for God's sake. Tom Lankis. 1-800-5800-TOM. What was that again? Were you not listening to me, sir? I couldn't hear a word you were saying. Well, I couldn't hear a word that you were saying either. I see. That's great. I like the level of discourse here. It's fantastic. It's the Tom Lankis Show. <laughs> The Tom like his show, 1-800-5800-TOM. Britney Spears loses custody of the kids, at least for now, physical custody. But she could have more kids. Like the old potato chip commercial. Have all you want, we'll make more. That's what it is. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Mike on the Tom like his show. Hello. Mike. Hello, Tom. Hello, Mike. Tom, I can't believe these parents. It, it kills me because these kids, I mean, these parents, they have kids, and their parents just don't care about them. And it's, it's horrible to watch. And they're so uneducated. Well, um, yes, that's true. But here's the thing. Education has never been a requirement for breeding. In fact, the, uh, the least educated among us are the biggest breeders of all. And it, it's so sad. It's because the people that are educated are so stuck in their jobs, they don't want to have kids because they well, want to get ahead. people who are well-educated are people who are successful. I'll, I'll put myself in there. Yeah. I'm smart enough to know that having kids is going to make me poorer, that it's going to limit my ability to succeed in my career. It's going to limit my ability to travel. I know all that. It's very true. I mean, on the other hand, you know, some parents, I know a lot of parents that have kids, and it's rewarding because you see them do good, and you've taught them all that stuff, and it's very rewarding. Well, that's right. I just, I just wish you can. You know, you have to have a license to drive a car, right? You got to have a degree to get higher jobs. Do you have to have a license to have kids? Well, uh, yeah, I don't know if we need that much bureaucracy, but I would say that once you have been somehow reprimanded by the court or punished by the court. Uh, for uh, abusing your children, for driving uh, with them in your lap and you're drunk or whatever it is, I think it's time for the judge to say, uh, we're going to take action here. You're going to be uh, administered depo provera uh, or some other temporary form of, uh, of uh, 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 you know, some birth control. You're going you're gonna to be stopped from having more children until we know you have recovered. How about cutting the tube? Well, I think you'd have a harder time getting that passed. Uh, personally, I would be in favor of it because I think people like this should not be breeding. I do. I don't think Britney Spears should be breeding. And then they get super drunk one night and totally forget everything. Don't use protection because they don't listen to you in the first place. The protection, I mean, just give it out at bars. Hand it out to right. people walk through the doors. Right. Uh, Tom, you're awesome. Take me out old school, please. Of course I can. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Juan on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Love your show. First time, long time. Thank you. Now, uh, what, what, are, what exactly are you saying? Are you saying that we as a society uh, get to choose who and who cannot have a child? I mean, are we... Are we in this particular case, once, yes, once... Well, by the way, we play God in a variety of ways. For example, if you murder somebody, we kill you. <laughs> That's true, but we can't tell people. Yes, we can. But we're not we're not God. I mean, you're playing. Well, God. then why? Then, then I guess you don't support the death penalty. 
I do support the pen. The, well, the, uh, what are you playing, God? Uh, well, it's that's different, though. Why is it different? Well, because if somebody's having a kid, and then I mean they have a couple kids, and they're 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 not you know responsible. I mean, we can't just say, hey. Yes, you know, we can. Why different. not? Why, wait, wait a minute. But you, you just glossed over what I said. But you said it's playing God, telling somebody their life is over. That's playing God. I'm an atheist. I don't believe in God anyway. But that's playing God. Isn't God yeah, supposed to decide? Isn't God? Isn't God supposed to decide when you're dead? Okay, let's say. Let's is say God that. supposed to decide when you're dead? No. He's not. No. Where does it say that? Well, wait. Okay, Britney. Let's just say. Is Britney God supposed? I want you to tell me. Don't. We'll get back to Britney Spears in a second. Isn't God supposed to decide when you die? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so you're playing God. You're saying, you know what? God may have another 50 years in mind for you, but you're dead today. Okay, let's just say Britney Spears gets pregnant. Wait, wait, wait. Did, do you understand? But We'll get to Britney Spears. We're not there yet. All right. When will you concede that my argument is a good one? I'll give you that. That's very white of you. <laughs> Juan. Okay. Yes, okay, let's say somebody gets pregnant. What are we going to do then? We're just going to make them have an abortion? Kill the child? I just said I suggested Depo Provera, a Norplant, other ways of stopping pregnancies from occurring. So we're going to decide, as a society, decide when they can have kids? I think we should. Because here's the thing. It's not just the rights of the person having the kids. What about the rights of the kids? You know, we get involved all the time. We decide who gets custody of kids, who can't see their kids. We decide these things all the time. When people get divorced, we decide who can have the kids. If if parents smoke too much, it's used against them in court, and it can be decided they don't get physical custody. We do it all the time. Why should someone who has a track record of abusing drugs and alcohol... Or engaging in unsafe behavior with their kids, like driving them with uh, with the kid on the on their lap on the front seat of the car. Uh, why should somebody like that be able to continue breeding? Oh, you got a point there. <laughs> you uh, got yeah, you damn straight, I do. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. This is Thomas. He's calling from Portland, Oregon, home of the other white meat on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Good afternoon, Tom. It's a pleasure to talk to you. I'm sure it is. Very wide of you. <laughs> Not everybody got that one. That was excellent. Hey, hey, listen, partner, I work in juvenile corrections, and uh, I wish that I could come up with a subject to argue with you on, but that you couldn't be more correct on this, sub on this matter here. Uh, working in juvenile corrections every day, I see nothing but products of parents who were not ready to be parents and who ultimately acted irresponsibly even before they conceived. And the, the pr trouble is, is that even with maturity, that doesn't necessarily get better. What I told your screener is that one of the things we see with uh, parents who continue to have kids after they're familiar with the system, the system's familiar with them, is they actually get progressively worse. They continue to have kids and they become progressively worse parents. Well, I, of course, we know that's true. The numbers tell us that. The statistics tell us that. Uh, not only that, the fact that uh, these patterns repeat in people's lives. If your parents were druggies or boozers uh, or irresponsible or they were breeding in their teens or whatever, you're yeah. likely to create future generations like that. It just keeps repeating itself. And I'm at that point in my career where I'm actually seeing that now, Tom. I'm actually seeing the products of people that I supervised on probation or parole uh, 15 years ago. How many 35... Let me ask you a question. You're in juvenile corrections. How many 30-year-old parents do you meet? 30-year-old uh, parents. Um, actually, they're going to be at the higher end, obviously. Uh, but uh, many. All I, I can tell you that most of the, the youth that we deal with had, were conceived and born while their parents were somewhere in the ages of 17 to 20. And uh, so you're, you're dealing with parents who might even be younger than 30. Absolutely. All the time. So their kids are already uh, in, in juvie problems. Yes. And then uh, then you have to meet with them, and the parents are 28, and the grandparents are, you know, 40, 42. Exactly. And there you've got three generations sitting in front of you during an intake, 
and you're you're looking at what's the, what's uh, being presented, and you're saying, and you know, you don't have to do a whole lot of math to figure out how we all got here. And you're right about that, Thomas. And the other thing I'd like to say is I, I'm, I'm actually contradicting myself because, frankly, uh, people like Brittany uh, keep me in business. Um, this is job security, folks. For you folks who want to continue to breed and bring in people into the world and you don't care for well, that's them. Why, by the way, you're, you're absolutely right. And that's why I always say, uh, you know, I hope that guys keep knocking up their high school girlfriends. Uh, because it's great if I need a shoe shine or if I need to uh, get my groceries bagged, <laughs> if I need a pizza delivered after nine o'clock at night. Uh, there, there's always somebody to do it. I think it's fantastic. You know, yeah. they still haven't figured out how to deliver a pizza from Bangalore yet. We haven't outsourced everything. <laughs> so you boys out there who are knocking up your high school sweetheart, let me tell you, I, I'll have mine with pepperoni. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Thank you for the call. Love that. It's fantastic. And, you know, somebody puts oil in my car, I'm thinking to myself, <laughs> how old is your daughter? Your daughter is six and you're 19. Fantastic. Why did you check my antifreeze, my wiper fluid while you're at it? <laughs> you know it's true. The last time you complained that a cheeseburger was assembled without somebody wearing gloves, you were you were talking to somebody who probably you know doesn't have the GED yet. He's twenty one. He's got three kids. He's the assistant manager. <laughs> Who do you think does these jobs for God's sake? I mean, we need this kind of labor in the future. So I need you boys to ignore everything I tell you and just go out and breed as young as possible. Just keep knocking them up. Kidding me? I'm having a new uh, fountain constructed outside my house right now. We need labor for these jobs in the future. We definitely do. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Tazalaya. Is that your name, Tazalaya? That is right, Tazalaya. Tazalaya. Yes. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tazalaya. You know what, Tom? My pet peeve are these girls having babies and getting on welfare. I think all these little girls choosing the wrong guys to have babies with, guys that don't want them, don't want the babies. And I'm a taxpayer. I'm paying for their kids on welfare. These girls should be forced to take the shot where they cannot have children anymore. I am so tired of being in the grocery store line, and I've got a calculator, and I have a degree, and I make pretty decent money, but I've got a calculator trying to see what I can buy and what I can't buy, and they're in line getting welfare assistance to buy all these things. So they definitely should be prohibited from having more children. Yeah, well, I, I, you and I are in total agreement. Um, really, I think it's time we start clamping down on this stuff and be done with it. For sure. And also, I would had a hard time swallowing the fact that you tell your Like Is 101 listeners that don't get involved with a single mother because she's going to make a, a mistake and they're going to be the next father. But you know what? I just had it proven to me. I've got this young lady that I know. She's 22. She's on her third kid by a third man. And I, I wanted to call up the third father and tell him about the Hail Mary that you talk about and let him know, listen, please listen to Tom Likas and pull the Hail Mary on this girl. <laughs> this is the third baby. The third baby by another man that doesn't want anything to do with her, doesn't want the baby. And I just don't understand what these little girls are thinking. I, I don't get it. I just don't get it. I agree with you. Yeah, because the girls, uh, ladies, listen to me. We determine who sleep with us. We determine if we're going to have sex with the person, and we determine if we're going to have the baby. So even though I think the guys have a certain obligation to use protection and not to get anybody pregnant, however, when it boils down to it, the women are the ones that make the decision. You just and slam the gate shut, and you tell the guy he's not getting in until he's wearing a condom, and that's it. <laughs> it's that simple. Exactly. But these girls, they actually want to have babies, and I, I, I just can't stand it. I'm tired of my taxpaying dollars going to... Uh, to support these children by poor kid, poor mothers and by men who don't want to have babies and don't want the, the, um, the mothers either. I'm, I'm tired of it. 
But anyway, that's what I want to share with your listeners, Tom. I love your show. I love it, love it. And can you blow me up, Tom? Of course I can, Tazalaya. Likus. Tom Likus. So you're just looking for sex? Of course. You must be a new listener. You must be kidding. You think that's what makes people happy? That's what, I'll tell you what, that's what makes men happy. It's the Tom Likus Show. The Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. We are back in Hollywood to stay, folks. Yes, we are. Summer vacation is over for me. Anyway, we are talking here about Britney Spears, who has lost physical custody of her kids. And uh, today's story about that alleges that this is because Brittany uh, missed a drug and alcohol test and also that uh, she failed to get a valid California driver's license. That's what the story alleges. And uh, so we're talking about uh, why people like Britney Spears are allowed to continue breeding. It doesn't make any sense. Lavi on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Great. Right on. I'm uh, calling in regards to a comment that you had made earlier. You said that uh, maybe we should do something in regards to having them uh, administer an obligatory depot shot or something, although I completely agree with you that, that Brittany shouldn't be breeding at all morally. I don't think that uh, it'd be good to institute something like that because then it, it leaves the door open for many other things to come. I mean, what are they eventually going to reinstate the debtor's prison? Or you Well, know? by the way, uh, by the way, we already do something like this right now. You know who we do it with? Pedophiles. Yeah, with, yeah, with the sex offenders. Right. I, right. So we have a precedent. And if we can do that, uh, we should certainly be able to stop somebody who is a derelict parent. And I don't mean just somebody who, uh, you know, uh, spanked their kid in the park. I'm talking about somebody who has been convicted or has been um, uh, sentenced to rehab or sentenced to uh, alcohol reeducation. Uh, somebody who has uh, uh, had a traffic violation along the lines of what Britney Spears is accused of. I mean, right, but you see, I, if these children are in danger, uh, you shouldn't be able to create more of them. No, I, I completely agree with you. But the thing is, is like you had just, uh, you know, helped me make my point a little bit more by saying that we already insti- have something instituted like that with uh, with the pedophiles. Out by the there. way, the pedophiles are not required. If I recall correctly, and I'm not an attorney or a judge, but I don't believe it's mandatory. I believe you're given a choice between jail time. Right, and but, saltpeter I mean, or whatever it is doing, they give you. <laughs> if we're already doing these two things, then, you know, where is it going to stop? And, but and it's an op- you don't understand. It's an option. It is not required. And that's, I think, how they how they got it through. Well, um, how about you say to liking. how about you say to Britney Spears? All right, Britney, you got two choices. Uh, you either get the depot shot or next time you go into jail or this time you go into jail. Right. That's your choice. Pick one. Right. All right. Good talking to you, Tom. I'm sure it was. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Tom? Great. First time. Thank you. Yeah, so you know what you're saying about her not being able to breed and all that junk? There's hundreds of people just like this all around the friggin' U.S., that are making the same mistakes as her, that are getting away with it, no special interest or whatever. But, you know, it's like I think we should do the three strikes and you're out thing. You know, we do it with the death penalty. We do it with pedophiles. You know, if if you're going to screw up this much and you're going to consistently show it, you should just get your tubes tied, get a vasectomy, and, you know, we can just take care of the problem for you. That's, that's where I'm coming from. So, I think it's time we start doing that. So, you know, my question is how are we going to, you know, get something like this started because there's so many people that are like, oh, you know, you can't do it because, you know, human rights, whatever. We, you know, we, we start doing Yeah, but nobody stuff. worries about the rights of the children. You know, we, we always give lip service to doing what's in the best interest of children. I don't think it's in the best interest of children to be uh, allowing people to create children who don't know how to take care of them. 
I say, yeah, exactly. And it's nothing like abortion, and it's far from the death penalty. In fact, I think it's prevention from having either of these types of situations come up. Because you get bad parents, you get bad kids. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree, am I right? right? I agree. Well, that's it, man. That's all I had to say. Thank you for your support. And uh, can you take me out with a bong rip? Here you go, John. <coughs> Al, on the Tom Likas show, hello. Hey, Tom. Um, I'd like to say you're, you're a bright man, and I fully agree with you on this. But the whole thing about saying alcoholics can't have kids, that's kind of a wide spectrum because there are a lot of successful alcoholics that you would never know. Again, I did not say alcoholics can't have kids. I said people who are uh, convicted or are punished for doing things that are derelict as parents. Well, then I'm wrong. <laughs> and once again, you're always right, man. I mean, I, I, I believe, I don't, I don't believe in punishing what might happen. I believe in punishing, in punishing people when they've done something. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, a lot more people would be a lot better off if they listen to you. I know, I know I'm going to be better off pretty soon because I listen to you. I'm about ready to go get a bisectomy. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Yeah, yeah. And then I already have one child support and another one's just not cool, you know, so. Yeah, yep. I agree with you, Al. Yeah. Well, hey, man. Thanks for putting on a good show, man. Thank you. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Stacy on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How you doing? I'm great. Good. I just wanted to comment on the whole Britney Spears thing. I think she is messed up in the head. Honestly, I am 21 years old. I grew up on Britney Spears. I, you know, watched her from the beginning, from Baby One More Time, and this girl's messed up. She needs some help. Um, I don't think, you know, causing her not to have kids is going to solve the problem. The girl needs other issues. She has other issues that she needs to work out, and, you know, she needs some serious, serious help. You know, I don't agree with what she's doing. Um, take care of your kids, you know. Don't go out partying. But I you say know? if you're not, don't you agree, if you're not capable of taking care of your kids and you're in front of that judge over and over, isn't it time oh. somebody does something to prevent her from having more kids? Oh, definitely. I think I totally agree with you. I'm like, she's too, she's too much in the spotlight. She's giving younger girls my age the bad idea on how to raise children. I, I'm 21 and, you know, I'm not even close to being ready to having kids. And, you know, she's totally giving the wrong idea for young girls my age. And it's sad. It's, it's so, so sad. And, you know, it's, it's unfortunate that somebody in that spotlight can bring up such a bad influence on younger girls. And I, and I have friends my age, and they don't even like Britney Spears because of what she's done to herself. And chopping off the hair, shaving her head, it's wrong. I don't agree whatsoever. Never, never mind. Girl, Remember how she looked on the VMAs? Oh, my God. Oh, oh my gosh. I just felt so bad for her she was so out of it and you could tell she was on something and totally wrong totally totally you know don't have any more kids girlfriend do not <laughs> thank you stacy <laughs> well thank you tom so much it was I'm, nice talking to you i'm sure it was thank you 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number let's say hello here to jennifer on the tom likas show hello hi tom how are you great Hi, I'm a teacher working in L.A., and um, I teach children in the inner city who come from uh, parents who are in gangs or do drugs, and usually they have multiple fathers, and I'm totally in agreement with you. They have one after another after another, and it gives me a job, but um, I, I don't understand why they keep having them. Yeah, well, they keep having them because... Um... Uh, they don't care. They don't care what happens to their lives. Well, life washes over them like a tidal wave. That's why. And also, they get money for having them. We're paying for all these kids. Most of these mothers don't work. We're, we're paying for their social services. They just sit at home. They don't even help them with their well, homework. I have to do all the mothering. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know there's a lot of that. And there are also people uh, who uh, don't necessarily get public assistance. Uh, there's just 14-year-old girls out there. Well, I'm a baby. My mom will help me take care of it. And then pretty soon, uh, mom has been uh, essentially uh, become a surrogate mother. Yep, and most of these people did start out at 14 because they're like 20 with five kids. Yikes.
Yeah. What I don't understand, Jennifer, though, and you you work at the L.A. County Unified School District. Um, why are schools now providing child care services so that uh, 14-year-old sluts can bring their uh, bastard children into the school? Well, I'm grateful for that. If it wasn't for that, they wouldn't have any help with their homework because maybe his parents are also illiterate and never graduated. <laughs> be a lot better just uh, sliding the depot in there and saying that's it. You know what? No more. No I more. I love that idea. I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello to Patty on the Tom Likas show. Hey, Tom. I love your show. And I agree with you. I have. I know this person. She swore to us that she was never going to have kids that she said she was going to be a, a bad mother, and she got pregnant just to keep the guy with her. And she's doing a really bad job with her kid, and, and I think it's it's wrong. I mean, just to keep, it's just to bring kids, you know, to hold on to a guy, it's, it's so wrong. Well, you remember the trailer trasher we had call in last week? What was that? Remember the trailer trasher who called in here from Texas last week who... Uh, yeah, uh, I remember. I remember. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's, I mean, you know, why Why do that? I mean, why, I mean, the kids, it's not the kids' fault. Let's say it. I mean, let's say, it, let's say the truth, okay, because they're stupid. Uh, yes, unfortunately they are. That's yeah, why they and, do and it. The guys, and the guys, you know, too. You know, I, I mean, I, I still agree with you. I mean, I think you saved my life. You know, I was with the wrong guy, you know, and I started listening to you, and, and I, I I learned how what he was, I, he was listening to you. And I thought, oh, no, he's not going to play with me, and, and I left him. And, you know, it, honestly, you know, you girls should listen to you because it, it, helps, it, it, it helps us, too. Well, a lot of people love to just say, well, you're a misogynist. You're a misogynist. But the uh, fact is, I'm telling the truth. Right, right. I agree with you. I love your show, Tom. Thank you, Patty. Bye-bye. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Jeff on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom. How are you doing? Great. Hey, it's a privilege to uh, talk to you. You know what? I think Kevin, you know what? Kudos to him. His show finally arrived. He's won the lottery. You know what? Good for him. Yeah, well, the uh, thing is, uh, it's not good for the kids necessarily because what have we heard about him, for God's sake? Well, we don't know a whole lot about him, but if mom's out, you know, drinking and drugging and driving around with a suspended license or, or no license, then the kids are probably off in a, a better established environment. I mean, I'm I'm on the... the yeah, but wait a minute. I, do we know that Kevin Federline is Ozzy, uh, Ozzy Nelson of Ozzy and Harriet? Do we know that? Well, of course not. But you know what? I, I think that too often we give special privileges to people that have money to go ahead and raise kids, whether they're a good parent or not. I, I, I believe lots of people uh, who are bad parents get to raise children and have children. And we pay for it. We pay for it in tax dollars. We pay for it in terms of crime. Uh, we pay for it in terms of lower test scores in schools. About yeah. the only way we benefit is we've got more people to uh, you know help out on the job site. Yeah, well, you know what, the thing that kind of puzzles me, I mean, I pay child support for my kids, and I still, I go out, I go out on the limb to see my kids every two weeks like any father should. Right. But, like, uh, what about someone who goes in, you know, say you got two lesbians that want to have children, and they make, you know, two to 500000 a year, they can go in and get infertile tubalization, right, and have children? Infertile tubalization. Or what, what, what's it called? <laughs> Is that the same thing, right? That's like somebody who told me they knew somebody who was a drunkaholic recently. A drunkaholic, exactly. But don't you think, <laughs> I mean, isn't that bizarre that they can go ahead and, and have a child? Infertile and, tubalization. And there's no responsibility there as far as a parental right goes? Something like that. I'm still, I can't get over infertile tubalization. It's going to stick in my head for a while. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. It's Tom at... BlowMeUpTom.com or hear our show streaming live, go to our website. It's BlowMeUpTom.com. Click on the Listen Live button between 3 and 8 p.m. Pacific time, and you'll be listening live. God damn it. The Tom Likas Show.